Hello, hello, hello. What is up, everybody? Welcome to a special edition podcast. Well, it's not really special edition, but there's shit going down, so I thought I'd go investigate. I just got sent an article by my wonderful girlfriend. Hi. Um, and there's a, there's a cop, cop involved shooting in my town. I thought this was all, oh, this lady just, I thought this was old news, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, this is not old news. This is happening right now. Officer involved shooting. We're going to investigate. I don't know what the, so like it it gives you each subsection of the town has its name, right? Like this one's called the Timber Ridge. Oh, here it is. Here it is. We are at the location. Oh, shit. We're going to investigate. Here we go, folks. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we are in the location. Holy shit. I I don't know what's going to be going down here. There's probably going to be a bunch of cops. There's, There's like three helicopters hovering right now covering this. And it's like, it's raining out and I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if I have my headphones in because there's going to be a bunch of cops, right? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be true? All right. We got to figure out where, where we are. Where are all the, oh, there are the cops. Holy fuck. Here, oh my God. Nope. They're police taped off. We can't even go that way. Oh my goodness, the cops. We have found, this is a dead end, I know that. I have to turn around, because the cops aren't gonna let me through. This is, this is eventful though, folks. An off, officer involved shooting. I don't know if it was the cop that got shot, or the, 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 the enemy. The, 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 I, I don't think I'm allowed, dude, I, I'm, so there's a cop up here. I don't think I'm truly allowed to go right, right here. Like there's a million cops. Holy crap! In media, and there. Why is there a cop right here in front of this house? What did this house do? Is he just warning everybody? He he's just chilling. Maybe he's surveying the area. He's like. We got Road Rage Randy podcasting. It's all right. It's all good. All right, we're going to go. I know these roads, so I'm able to loop around right over here and get to where the police tape was. Um, I have absolutely zero clue. Oh, what if we get a cop on the podcast? I'm, I'm a news member. I can do that, right? Oh, look at the... It's just hovering. The... That seems like a waste of money, to be honest. You're going to have a helicopter just sit here and hover. And what kind of news are they getting? Uh, And there's... What? There's a cop driving down the trail right now. That's fucking illegal. That's illegal. You can't do that. Oh, my God. Police tape. Oh my God, police tape and media members everywhere. I'm a media member. This is important. We need to go get the news. Oh my goodness. They're being told to back off. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're, they're shooting in the cul-de-sac here. This is eventful. This is... Things are going down, ladies and gentlemen. We, we have found the location. I'm parked on the side. There's cops everywhere. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm, I'm reporting live from, I I don't know these roads, Like I don't know what's going on. So they have police tape everywhere. Medium. Oh, so we're not even allowed over there. We got to turn around. We got, we got people coming from all over holy shit there are 9,000 cops over here ladies and gentlemen 
They are, oh my God, we got the police all here. We're just trying to pop the Yui. Oh my goodness. They, that's a forensics van. Holy shit, this is huge. Um, I need to maneuver through these guys and <laughs> look at me talking on the fucking phone, going past cops. I'm a badass. There are media people everywhere. I'm a media member. This is this is my calling. Okay, lady. You I know you're reporting, but you need to watch out. We so they got like oh my goodness. So they what they have is they have a cop standing there telling people to fuck off pretty much. Interesting. This is interesting. They have Two. Oh my goodness. I all right. We need to actually give a live report if we're okay. If we're going to pretend like we're actually a media member, we need to give a live report. This is a breaking news story with your host, Road Rage Brandy. Hi, this is Road Rage Randy from the Road Rage Randy podcast, reporting in live from the the Valley. We got we're gonna call it the Valley to remain sem- semi anonymous. Um, we're reporting live from the Valley. We have currently media members. We do not have much information, and we will for sure be reporting back to you at the moment we start obtaining information. We have an officer involved shooting and that's about all we know at this given time. All right, that's all I really got, folks. I mean, I I am not a news reporter. I'm there's still I wonder. Oh, we have people from all over going. We need to we need to hop on the phone, spread the news to other people. I am going to go ahead and um, report back to you guys a little later on that. Um, Thank you guys very much for tuning in on my investigation. So I would like to further discuss the story now that it has been a few days later. The breaking news in which I reported on a couple days ago has been pieced together by, by, uh, by, by people who are actually good at doing their reporting. I'm just Road Rage Randy. Uh average Joe podcaster trying to make it in the podcasting world. We did our best to report, but the, ultimately the story was decided by actual news media. So the conclusion of this story here, or the, or should I say the, what happened, the story, the final story that has been pieced together, a man, which you guys remember Jake from episode like 50 or 6? He's been on two episodes. He's been on episode 50 and he's been on the Halloween special. Jake, yes, he actually went to school with this man. Um, he can't remember if it was high school or middle school, but he went to school with the man. He remembers him. Um, so this guy, first off, goes and kidnaps a lady outside of a retirement home. First off, why would you kidnap somebody? It's stupid. You're going to get caught, and especially given like all the technology these days and how like all they got to do is just ping the chick's phone. It's like, "Damn, well, you're caught." It's like, "Come on, bro." So she, he kidnaps this girl and then drives her from one city to St. Paul. So the the city's maybe 20 minutes away. So he drives this lady 20 minutes. What are you? What the fuck? Ah, tour bus almost cut me off. What are you doing? Check your mirrors, idiot. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, back to, so she, he drives, he drives this girl to St. Paul. Well, first off, he stole her car. So he kidnaps her, steals her car, drives her to St. Paul. Or maybe he drove... Oh my God, my news reporting sucks. So he kidnaps this girl. 
They get to St. Paul, and then I know from there he had a stolen vehicle. So he, he takes this lady, kidnaps her, they go to St. Paul, he, he sexually assaults this lady, leaves her tied up, and she's able to break free, call the cops, and um, the manhunt begins. Or, or am I going to get cut off again? Twice in the same episode? That would just be crazy. That would be absolutely crazy. But we didn't. We didn't. We survived. Um, so so they, they go to St. Paul. So the poli- the manhunt begins. He takes the stolen vehicle to a different town. And in this town, to, to this town, he, he goes into a house and... I believe a police chase ensued, and he runs in. Yeah, yeah, a police chase had to have ensued. They, ru- he runs into a house and holds a family of five hostage. So, um, they, they're all in a room. Um, he, he's got them hostage, and the lady was interviewed by the news, and she said that he said he was going to die today, and that he needed a place to just think for a second so she brought him to the garage and that's when the family fled the house the police could see him they fled the house it was just a man in the garage i guess the man then stole one of their cars so we got we got two vehicle thefts at this point right two vehicle thefts and then the the, the police are he he takes the car he crashes into a tree and he's found dead. I believe the cops open fired. Uh, yeah, two cops open fired. They are on paid administrative leave. Is that why are you opening your door at a red light? Like people this morning are just just moronic. We almost been cut off twice. This guy is Chinese fire drilling at a red light. Just I don't I don't get people sometimes. But it is what it is, I suppose. There's the... What What are you doing? So this moronic lady... Are you going to cut me off again? I will honk my horn even 10 times louder this time, lady. The, the, the same bus driver that cut me off just was next to me. Like, she didn't have to get over. Why is she next to me right now? It, yeah. I'm going to take a deep breath and calm myself down. Just I'm mad she tried to cut me off. Anyways, let's further discuss, um, further discuss of this. Um, so they, they, the, the original report was that he was shot down by cops. Um, so two were on paid leave during investigation, and um, pretty much. The, de- the next day, so, okay, so I saw the report, the reported like Monday, and then the next port was Tuesday, but I saw it all on Wednesday. So I'm like, oh, it's again, conflicting reports when I'm scrolling through my news feed here and getting these, uh, this information. So ultimately the whole, the, the autopsy or the medical examiner, or whatever was performed, concluded that he died to a self-inflicted bullet wound it wasn't of the cops so they definitely like you know they they got like they they took out a protractor and found the angle or something i'm not here to give you advice on how to medically exam i just i I feel like that's how they do it they either either use a protractor some kind of a leveler you know just just to see how that wound that that bullet wound was inflicted and i I must say my uh, my news reporting skills not too good, not too good. I, I need to definitely work on my news reporting skills, and then further down the road we're gonna start trying to get some more special breaking news events like this, and maybe get some actual reports. And I must say the editing was absolutely fantastic. I might try and do one. I was thinking about this as well. Um, I might try and do one podcast a month where I just, I edit it. So it's not just raw. It's actually well edited 
to the point where it, it's funny. It, it, it'd be more like a, a YouTube kind of a video where it's like jump cuts and just, it would, I, I feel like I could actually do something. I have big plans. I got, got absolutely big plans for the podcast. And I, like I said, I've been absolutely loving it. Um, absolutely loving it. And I can't wait for the future. We, you know, we're at episode 62. That's absolutely great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and conclude my special edition. But that concludes my report, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in to my special news report. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little different from uh, your typical news report. Because, you know, news reporters, they sit there and they edit and make everything all fantastic. Not me. Not me. You get to go along the ride where I'm like, oh, my God, there's news report. Oh, my God, there's helicopter. Oh, my God, the cops. Yeah, I get to explain to you the scene that I am. I just, I feel like that is genuine reporting and not edited like they do. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. I'm glad you guys are all caught up on the investigation. Uh, it's, been, it's been a pleasure. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at Thoughts by Randy. Let me know what you think because I love fan interaction. I don't get much, but I love fan interaction. Um, head on over to iTunes, drop me a review. Stitcher, we don't have any reviews, and I know I know we got a couple listeners over on Stitcher. Um, go ahead over to Reddit, r slash Driving with Brandy. I've got shit to do, boys. Thank you very much for tuning in. God bless you all. Peace.